Christmas. Are we saying ornament? Ornament. Ornament. I thought Orn we were saying Christmas. Ornament. Okay. Christmas ornament. Or Christmas. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> so we're asking you to send it. We're decorating the tree. We are. And okay. so you mail them in, and then we put it on. That's a cool bird. This one is I from love that Tracy. One. Tracy. So thank you, Tracy. This one's from me. I'll see you. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. Thank you for making us the We're number so one daily good. Bible study. We got a scripture for the day. Where are they yeah. going to be at? Uh, we're going to be in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. And if you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We like to read that on Wednesdays. And also at the end of this, today's <laughs> message, we're going to give you a phone number that you can uh, use to subscribe. Start to subscribe and text now. Again. We'll text you in we'll the mornings. That. That, yeah, so you can do that too. Now, so you know, we'll give now you that on later. Fridays, we do uh, sitcom Fridays. Sitcom now, Fridays. I thought that was funny. We, we got this new game. Holly loves trivia games. So it was, it was a game of uh, the gaps. And so they had all the different generations. You had questions from all of them. Oh, generational gaps. So for the game winner, uh -huh. the, now the women got stuck in the 50s. They couldn't they get... They had TV shows in the 50s, and they just, they're not like me because I watched, you and I grew up we, watching all We watched the, all the 50s shows. 50 shows. Yeah, yeah. But I we got out, so we, we, we nailed through all of that. I'm uh -huh. just great at all the 50s stuff. And then we got into Gen X, bring it. But the question we won with was, uh, this is from a sitcom, and then it gave you a line out of... The sitcom. The, out of the out of the, the opening out of the opening uh, song? song. Oh, that'd be easy. We've been that'd be all over that. It's, it's all we've been together a million years. What, what is? Were, yeah, exactly. The only way I would ever know that is last Friday, we did the family ties, and I went, oh. I went, oh, that's family ties, and everyone goes, you cheated. Yeah. How would you possibly know that? Well, because it's not a memorable song. No, it's not. Why I, is the, Family Ties not? It's such a great show, but not a memorable song. Not even a close to. Yeah. It's not like Green Acres. Green Acres yeah. is the place yeah. for me. Sometimes uh, you gotta go where everybody, everybody knows, knows your, your name. name. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. You know that yeah, song? You know that, that show right away? Right oh, when right you hear away. the song. Yeah, Family Ties you don't know. No. All right, anyway. so today we're going to be in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. And, and we're uh, talking about the uh, missing puzzle piece. Yeah, that, that people have pieces in their life that are missing. I, I'm telling you, and most God wants to make you whole. Most right? everyone Finished. watching, there is you feel like because the enemy is works hard at making you feel like you're incomplete. Yeah. Because if I feel incomplete, then I can't break through of some of the barriers in my life. It's well, when I feel no, it's whole. So true. The woman, the issue of the blood, her whole life was put on hold because of what was missing. Mm -hmm. But by faith, Jesus says, you have been made whole. Yeah. And I kind of took it a little bit from your message the week before, because I love this, where she was running to Jesus, mm -hmm. right? When you run to Jesus, see, oftentimes we run to the addiction. We run to what the world says we're important. We run off to the club on the weekends. We run into different places because we feel like that. they told me that's going to make me mm -hmm. whole. Mm -hmm. But no, no, it's when I run to Jesus mm -hmm. that I become whole. It's true, and, and Jesus wants the glory in your life, and God wants the glory in your life. And if, if the glory came from some other place, then God doesn't get the glory. So what you ran to, maybe you ran, you're running to this thing and that thing to try and make your business successful. You need to run to Jesus. Right. I mean, certainly we get educated and be smart, but our priority has got to be running to Jesus in, right. in our marriage. Like, oh, well, I, I, you know, this is what I did to fix my marriage. No, no, run to Jesus. Let him fix your marriage, then he gets the glory. Amen. Are you feeling me? I feel I'm 100%. Okay. So here's, here's the uh, scripture we want to talk about today. It's Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. The sun is the radiance of God's glory oh. and exact representation of his being. It says, goes on to say, sustaining all things by his powerful word. So, so think about uh, okay. sustaining all things by his what? Word. Word. So it's doing what? It's holding? It holds things together. It keeps things going. It, it's... Uh, completing things Makes because it complete because uh, when things are falling apart in your life, when you have holes and you have things that are missing, what do you need? You need something to glue it together. Yeah, you got to have things hold, hold. So you need the Word of God to help hold things to together. Hold it all together. Well, I feel like everything in my life is falling apart, and you get God and you turn to God, you turn to Jesus, and all of a sudden things begin to just kind of get 
fixed together. I remember before in 1991, everything in my life was all, everything was apart. Yeah. It was just a mess. I yeah. just made a big old mess. I'm like 21 years old and I've already messed up my life this much, really. This is where I'm at. Yeah. And I turned immediately on that night to God. I said, all right, God, let's do this together. I've done it by myself. And all of a sudden, everything began to just get put together. Yeah, it happened so fast. It's it? so quickly how it's God fills up those gaps and God's word began to then guide and direct my life. Yeah. Right? And I began to, right away, I, I opened up and, and I don't know how I knew this. I know the, I guess I'd read the Bible uh, about five times by this time, but I, you know, but Proverbs 31, I was like, Proverbs 31, and I turned there and there it was, and I go, oh my God, because I was looking for that Mrs. Wright. Um, Proverbs 31, a woman. And is I go, Mrs. and I go, woman. that's what I want. And then I'm just, I'm analytical and I go, where would I meet her? And I went, not the devil house. <laughs> I said that. I literally said not because that's where I've been meeting all my girls. Not the devil it? house. There's a dance club in Tempe. Yes. So I said, I, I said, you know where she's going to be at? Mm. She'll be at church. Mm. Anyway, God's word has got the answer. It has the answer that you need. And so if you're missing a, a puzzle piece in your life, go to the word of God. You need God's word to sustain things. So maybe your job's falling apart. Maybe relationships are falling apart. You know, when a relationship falls apart, and you, you know, you, you, you get bitter you're angry, you're hurt, you're emotional, uh, you get, I'm going to tell them. And you're right, though, because what happens is you, you feel like you're, something's missing. And, uh, yeah. and so then you put in lashing out at them. You put anger in them. You know what else you can does? put in there is you can get other people on your side, right? Oh, I'm going to go yeah, get them Jason, all to so I'm gonna call this person, get them all to agree with me. Look how they've wronged me. And you try and fill that hole. And it just makes it bigger. It just makes it bigger. You're, just, really you're just pouring gas on the fire is all you're doing. <laughs> And so you go, all right, God, what am I supposed to do with this? This They've wronged me. They've been horrible to me. And God's like, well, what did Jesus do? Love them. He's like, well, I guess he just, <laughs> he just loved them. He was, he was crucified, he even though he did nothing them. wrong. And then he says, Father, forgive them. And, and God's like, yeah, I know this isn't going to be the easy way, but it's the best way. It's the way that, it's the way that you're going to be free. If you can apply forgiveness and the blood of Jesus to how they've wronged you, right? Now, what are you doing? You're filling the hole with God's word. You're filling the gap up. Yeah. It, 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 Suddenly you're complete. I'm okay. Right? So we, I remember, and we're doing it at this house. I just remembered from like houses when, when Peyton was real little. Mm -hmm. And every time I sell a house, I, not that everybody does this, but Dad always did it and I do it. We fill up all the nail holes mm -hmm. with a little putty. So Peyton was helping me. He's like, well, how is that going to fill the hole? It's soft, Daddy. It's so, like it, it doesn't make sense to put that in there. Yeah. Because it's just going to be. It's just going to fall out. Just you just push it spot, and make another hole. Right? And that's, I think sometimes. He didn't know it would dry. He doesn't know that it's going to dry and you just paint it all up. And I think that sometimes we don't realize that how is that going to work? How mm -hmm. is that, Daddy, how is that puddle? How is, that, how is loving them and being kind to them possibly going to fill up this hole? It's not going to help at all. How, how is that going to do it doesn't anything? doesn't even make sense. Right? I got, I got to let them know what's wrong with them. They do. How Where's are they the going to get better? Yeah. Uh, but, but we're learning this, and, and maybe you have, like, a, you know, another example would be, like, maybe you have a business, and, right. and uh, you're wanting to see that business succeed. Now, certainly, you should get marketing books, and you should get educated, and you should go to the pros, but your top priority is to remember that you go to God, That's that you so go to good. Christ, and you say, okay, so what do you say about this? I'm trying to, I'm trying to have success here, and then, and then Jesus starts to give you his plan, but what we have to remember is that it's through Christ's blood that we have the blessing of God on our lives that God has blessed you, that he has favor, his promises. Now you start to stand in that, knowing that God is going to elevate my business. And, and uh, you're standing on a promise, and then God starts to do things in hidden places because of your faith is moving mountains out of the way. Your faith is releasing the spiritual things. So suddenly the right people are coming. Suddenly everything's coming easier. Suddenly you haven't really changed a lot about your marketing, but new clients are coming. And God, is by his spirit, is drawing people and giving you favor. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So you're, you're learning that when I glorify Christ in my life, in any place in my life, God will bring me the success that I desire. It's you watch throughout the Bible. God has a weird way of doing business. Yeah, he really does. When you look at it, but God's way is a high. He gets a different perspective. So you think about for Abraham. You know, if you're going to become prosperous, you kind of want to stay where you know things and where you are. But God says, no, no, leave that land and go to a place you have no idea about. Yeah. How how is that a good plan? There would be a, awful there plan. wouldn't have been a Steve Jobs book possible that would tell you to do that. <laughs> and then you got Gideon. All right, if you want to win this, you want to keep as many men as you possibly have. Yeah, he's going to face all of them. He's going to face the Midianites, and the Bible the Midianites were oppressing those rights. And the Bible says that there were as many soldiers and camels as there are sand in the seashore against them. 
So what do you need? You need less men or more men? You need a lot of men. You if you read recruit. a war book, they would be like, you'd like, you'd you never find recruit. a war book that says, hey, let almost everyone go. Yeah, make, he's, he was making posters, God wants you to join the <laughs> Gideon forces. No, no, his poster said, God doesn't really want you. No, God's like, you got too many men. Yeah, it's too, this is going to be too easy. This is too much. Yeah. No, I, he said, and then he said this. He said, I won't get any glory if you win in this. We've oh, got to get rid of some God. of this. So, so that's what God's up to is he's trying to reach the whole world. So he needs to see your life bring him glory. Wow. So he wants to be that victory in the defeated place. He wants to bring that, that win in the impossible odds. He wants to bring you success when nobody else could possibly have success. So that when, they, when, when you look in the mirror, you go, well, I couldn't have done this. Right. <laughs> this is not me. This is People all are like, God. how'd you do it? Like, I didn't. I, I went to Jesus. I went to Jesus. I allowed him to be the missing puzzle piece in my life. And that's the thing. Hey, how did your marriage get all fixed? Mm. It wasn't me. It wasn't my wife. It was Jesus. Yeah. You know, we just got in there and God's word and we began to confess. We began to pray. We read some good uh, books out there. and He gave us wisdom. And God gave us wisdom and we navigated to having a great man. Mom and dad are together not because of them. No. They're two of the, the God's, most... God two, saved our family. Two different... The most different people... Like if you said, all right, let's take the two of the most different people in the world. I want to set up a marriage that I know will fail. <laughs> that would have been mom That I know will fail. Oh. Let's put these two together because that will definitely be a train wreck. Satan even had a party. He's like, yes, yes we got some. Done. Yeah. Nope. And it was God's word. Because opposites produce fruit. Amen. Ah, uh, you want to pray over the day? Yeah. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, that... We, we learn to lean upon your word to hold our life together. That we, When things are falling apart, we go to you. We go for your wisdom. We go for your secret understanding that you have. We know that your ways are higher than our ways, but we also know that you reveal all things to us by your spirit. And so I thank you, Father God, that, that you're pulling things back together. There's people out there, there's relationships have been falling apart. It's very real to them. There's marriages that have been growing distant, growing cold. But Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you're kindling those flames. You're warming those hearts. You're drawing that family back together in this, in this time, in this season, Lord. You're bringing the pieces back together. And we're learning to look to you and to your word and to trust you above what we see with our eyes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Don't forget uh, to... I don't know which one to do. That one first? Text. Uh, we used to do text. Yeah. So if you text this number and do this thing, they're going to text you every morning with right. a link. It was, and people like that. Some, some is okay, but you some could, people you like You just pull it up on your phone, you hit the link, and you go right to wake up. You don't it's have like to reminder. scroll through your YouTube stuff. You know what you could do, though? And this huh. is kind of funny. Like somebody, you're like, man, they really need wake up in their life. You actually could sign them up with their phone number. Oh, that's a powerful thing. They just start getting texts. They're like, you know what? I God well, that, gave me a message. God just started texting me. Well, how do you? You have to grab. You have to steal their phone and text from it. Do you or do? You, oh, yeah. it has to be from you their phone. But anyways, text eight one zero one zero, and you want to text this uh, crazy message at the bottom at and then six some seven F B A Z seven. No, there's no banana. Z. That's a seven. <laughs> I always put a banana. Yeah, I put a little banana smiley emoji. face emoji. We'll see you tomorrow. No. We'll see you uh, Monday. Monday. Uh, oh, click the screen. Oh, if you want to watch so the clip. Off. This is too much. If you want your clips Hi, and I'm salsa. New. This is my first day doing wake up. Click the what screen right now and you can watch Pastor Scott's message. It's amazing. <laughs>